Which US aircraft can fly at night through mountainous terrain and as low as 200 feet without being detected by air defense systems? Which US aircraft holds 61 world records for speed, payload, and distance? If your answer to these questions is no other than B-1B Lancer, then congratulations, you know your aircrafts. This is Military Mechanics, and today we will look at B-1B Lancer, a.k.a. the Bone. B-1B is a swing-wing bomber intended for high-speed, low-altitude penetration missions. With the largest internal payload of any current bomber, it is one of three strategic bombers serving the U.S. Air Force and has seen considerable active service during its career. Despite having all those exquisite qualities, it took more than three decades for this aircraft to join USAF. Do you want to know why? Well, here's the story. In the first decade of the era, the U.S. relied on high-altitude strategic bombers. The improvements in Soviet surface-to-air missiles meant that the U.S.'s untroubled high-altitude flight paths were now very much in range of those missiles. So, an aircraft that would combine the Mach 2 speed of the B-58 Hustler with the range and payload of the mighty B-52 seemed like the answer. Although the Bones story began with such determination, it would first have to deal with a formidable enemy who had shot down many promising planes, the politics. It was first cancelled by Robert McNamara, then revived by Richard Nixon when USAF awarded the contract for the B-1 bomber to Rockwell in 1970, only to be cancelled for a second time by Carter and later saved by Ronald Reagan, as in January 1982, the United States government placed an order for 100 B-1 bombers for a total cost of $2.2 billion. Some major changes were made, which included an additional structure to increase payload by 74,000 pounds, an improved radar, and reduction of the radar cross-section by an order of magnitude. The inlet was extensively modified as part of this RCS reduction, necessitating a reduction in maximum speed to Mach 1.2. The B-1B finally flew on October the 18th, 1984. The United States eliminated the nuclear mission for the B-1 in 1994, and the conventional munitions upgrade program has been implemented in a series of block upgrades, which lasted until 2003, transforming the bone into a more versatile and modernized weapon platform. The B-1B's blended wing body configuration, variable geometry wings, and four General Electric F-101 GE-102 turbofan afterburning engines all work together to provide long-range maneuverability and high speed while also improving survivability. The aircraft has swept wings, which means the wings point backwards rather than straight across. The wings are also adjustable and can be shifted from 15 to 67.5 degrees. The forward wing configuration is used for takeoff landings and high altitude maximum cruise speed, whereas the wings are generally set in the aft configuration, with the wings closer to the tail during high subsonic and supersonic flights. The wingspan is 137 feet extended forward, 79 feet swept aft. The B-1B's synthetic aperture radar can track, target and engage moving vehicles as well as operate in self-targeting and terrain-following modes. The aircraft is operated by four crew, pilot, co-pilot, defensive systems operator and offensive systems operator. The DSO station is equipped 
units with the ALQ-161 defensive avionics system that detects and identifies the entire spectrum of adversary threat emitters before applying the appropriate jamming technique either automatically or manually and a Honeywell multifunction display linked to the aircraft's offensive avionics system. The OSO station is equipped with two Honeywell multifunction displays linked to the OAS. The main computer on board the B-1B is the IBM AP-101, which is also used on the Space Shuttle Orbiter. It has a terrain following system which essentially scans the area ahead of the aircraft and provides pitch input to help the pilot hug the terrain as closely as possible, sometimes as low as 200 feet above the ground. With a weapon load of 37,000 pounds, the B-1B can fly 4,600 miles without refueling. The B-1B has a ceiling of more than 30,000 feet. During the first six months of Operation Enduring Freedom, eight B-1Bs dropped nearly 40% of the total tonnage delivered by coalition air forces. Although B-1Bs only flew 2% of the sorties during the Operation Iraq Freedom, they dropped 2,100 JDAMs, or half the total expended. The Air Force is now planning to replace the B-1 and B-2 bombers with a Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider flying wing bomber, with the B-1 being phased out by 2036. The Bone will remain a lethal and versatile multi-mission weapon system through planned upgrades until that time arrives.